But uh, next up, Bowling Green Falcons went three and nine last year, two and six in the MAC. They returned six starters on offense, three on defense. Mike Jinks, he went seven and twenty-one in three years. Uh, look, this was just what they did to hire Mike Jinks. Let's just get on that to begin with. Bad on bad. They decided that they were going to go and hire somebody that had something to do with Texas Tech. And it didn't matter if he had even stepped foot anywhere near Bowling Green. Like it, So they go and they get Mike Jinks, who had no idea what he was stepping into. I mean, he was like a running back coach. Like it, which, what did they do at Texas Tech, right? Like it's whatever. But this guy couldn't get anything done up there, and it's not necessarily his fault. It was just a really bad fit. And after they decide to fire him because it's a bad fit, they hire Scott Leffler, journeyman offensive coordinator. He was most recently at Boston College. Uh, yeah, he's done okay with some quarterbacks here and there, but for the most part, like he's just a uh, he's he's not overwhelming, and that's not his offense at BC, by the way. No, he's he's, he's not super impressive yeah, by any I, means. I'm not the. This is one of those situations where you hire the coordinator that coaches under the genius. Yes, like he this this ain't his offense. Okay, maybe no. he learned. But do you think that's what they're trying to do? They're just trying to find somebody that's in a scheme that they like. Well, I think and no, saying, no, no. I maybe think they, you've learned something from this scheme, so we'll take you. Well, they, I think what they did was Jinx was like super inexperienced and maybe not ready to be a head coach. So they went and got like a bunch of guys that had a ton of experience, even if it wasn't impressive. Right? <laughs> okay. So so Leffler, like his big thing at Bowling Green right now is he's got to fix this defense. They gave up 40 points per game in 2018. So first they bring in one of the Pelini brothers, but then he leaves. To go coach with his brother I was somewhere just about else. About to say he's there for um, five minutes. But but then to fix this defense that gave up forty points a game at Bowling Green, which you can understand giving up forty points a game at Bowling Green, All right, right? I do understand. They bring in Brian Van Gorder, who gave up forty four points per game at Louisville. <laughs> nice. So I see you're forty, and I raise, I raise you. you. <laughs> I raise you forty four. Uh, the offense and defense both ranked number one hundred six in the country last year. Um, the offense looked like there might be some cool pieces to work with, right? Uh, but Jared Dagey, I believe that's how you say it, he transferred to West Virginia. That was the main piece that was that you were going to have to work around. And now you don't even have that. Like He's gone to, gone. to join that's Neil Brown. Right. Um, running back Andrew Clare, he's running behind three returning offensive linemen. That's good. But this is a major rebuild. But you said it's good. So when teams are really bad and they're returning a bunch of dudes, like I don't know that that's a good thing. Yeah. Those guys weren't good last year, and we have coaching dysfunction. Are they getting better? And you've at least got like some senior, like some upper class. Okay, they're right? more mature. Okay, now I agree with that. They're more mature, which is a big thing, and and they're probably another year of playing and working out, so they might be bigger, stronger, faster. I'll give you that. It, it's tough, man. It's hard. So I've got I've got family and friends from the Louisville area, and a lot of those people, some of those friends, couldn't get into Louisville, so they went to Bowling Green, and they live in the Bowling Green area. It's nice. I I've got a lot of family from the Kentucky area. Yeah, and it's sad to see this team go kind of the way they are, but but I don't know that this yeah. year's going to be much better than last. No, you're you're right about that. What so do you got? I got them at, at so they went three and nine last year. I got them one and eleven and. Like, this is, what, the fifth or sixth best team in Ohio right now? I mean, it's like... Yeah. I mean, how many teams are in Ohio? They they might be last. Like, they're way down the list. Yeah. And I, I'm 1-11, 0-8 in conference. Okay, I've got them 1-7 in conference and 2-10. and 10. Uh, Okay, I can, I can get Found a W somewhere, home game. That's, I just, Find I don't, something to fight for. I don't trust this coaching staff for anything. Like, 